Hey guys, welcome back to Raver's Mead. I have Woody here with me today and we are going to be working on some desensitising to my armour. Uh, now, I, we'll have to actually say before we start, he is a sweaty disgusting mess right now. Now, I haven't worked him before I'm doing this. I just took Nelly out for a hack on her own and he got a bit of an opinion about that and rodeoed in his stable the whole time apparently. So, I have arrived back to this sweaty disgusting mess of a beast. Haven't I? But we're still going to do some work because just because he has a man tantrum doesn't mean he's, you know, going to get out of it. Um, but yeah, just in case anyone's wondering why he looks such a disgrace right now and why he's absolutely dripping, that's the reason. Um, but yeah, we're going to be working on some desensitising today. I've no idea how far I'm going to get with this. Um, if any of you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I've been playing with bits of armour with him. I actually put my helmet up on his bottom the other day and he seems really fine with all of this. Um, I had a small play with a little bit of like using a weapon on his back last summer, just like striking some made up targets I had in the field and he loved that so he doesn't have an issue with the concept of me hitting things off of his back um, or the concept of me swinging a weapon around on his back so that's all good. Um, but yeah, out of all the horses he definitely seems to be the most engaged in this activity. Um, Nelly's okay with the armour but she's ne neither here nor there, she's not particularly interested in stuff like this. I mean her thing is to just go out and gallop and have fun. Um, Stumpy sadly is just too small, like, <laughs> oh, I mean she could possibly double up as a war dog or something but she, she certainly isn't going to be my war horse, bless her, even though she is incredibly brave. Uh, and Blue, despite being possibly the ballsiest young man we've ever had here, is actually quite afraid of the armour still. So I have a heck of a lot more work to do with him before I would even think about bringing him out here um, and attempting any of the things I'm going to do with Woody today. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I'm not entirely sure how far we're going to go today. Um, I would like to get to a point where I can ride him with at least some of the armour on um, and see what he thinks of that. Uh, however, I do have some reservations as to how compatible this particular set of armour is going to be with being on a horse. I mean, obviously it's not designed to be riding armour, it is HMB armour, it's designed for a sport, it's designed to be used in full contact medieval combat, um, so it's not designed to account for being on a horse. Um, so I do have some reservations with regards to how the legs are going to work out with this. Um, given the fact that my brig is incredibly long, like I don't know, it almost looks like the armourer stuck an extra plate on the bottom of my brig, which didn't really need to be there. Um, which from like a sport safety point of view is kind of handy. You've got an itch dude. Um, because it obviously means that my lower back my hip bones and all that kind of area are well protected from being struck when we're at tournaments and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think, hey, 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 don't run over me. I think that's pretty much going to make my brig useless in this exercise. Um, I just don't think I'm going to be able to sit on a horse in it. It is just too long. Uh, however, arms, helmet, I can definitely work with. Um, and I'm thinking possibly lower legs I can work with. Um, and you know, that's more than enough to get him accustomed to the noises, the feelings, the extra weight and things like that. And who knows, if he takes to it and he enjoys this kind of thing, maybe I might be investing in a whole other set of armour one day. I really don't have the money for this, but... Oh, it's fun! Playing with armour and playing with horses, what could be better, huh? You don't look amused, Sunshine. He's very tired. He tired himself out, silly boy. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's enough waffling. Um, I think I'm gonna... I don't actually... I don't have a plan, as per usual. Um, I really should have thought this through before I brought him out here. Um, I guess I'm gonna let him have a look at the kit, and then I guess I'll lunge him a little bit just to get him warmed up, and I might go ahead and put my arms on so that I've got the noise and the jangling going on. I might go ahead and put those on and then do a little bit more lunging with him and see how comfortable he is with me approaching him with the possible view of leaning over him or even mounting him with that on. Um, I think that's a reasonable goal for today uh, but we'll see how he takes to all of this. Um, 
he's not actually been with me in the armour in an open space yet. We've only been doing work in the stable with it. Um, I mean, he's been absolutely fine with it. He's barely battered an eyelid, bless him. But now that I'm introducing it to him in more of a working environment as opposed to a comfortable, oh my owners just being a weirdo again kind of environment, um, he may see things differently. So, should we get you warmed up? And then I'll put my silly suit on and we'll see what you think of it. Yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah, so what I'm basically going to be doing is introducing this to him uh, uh, in the exact same way that I would introduce tack, rugs, anything else to a young horse, a new starter. So I'm going to give him an opportunity to see everything, smell everything, feel everything see it in motion, see it in funny places. Um, yeah, I'm just going to treat it as if I were introducing a young horse to tap for the first time or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't think he's going to care about it to be perfectly honest, but we shall see.
Okay. I have got my arms on, sticking with my riding helmet for now, um, and I am going to see how he feels about me coming up on the mountain block next to him wearing this because uh, it's going to look very different and feel very different to him having this above him than it is going to be having it on the ground next to him. So let's see how he reacts to that. Oh sweet boy, well done.
Oh, we I'm hot now. Blimey. Oh, isn't he good? Aren't you a clever boy? Huh? Aren't you a clever boy? I knew he was going to be my war horse. You're so good. Yes, you are. You're so good. Oh, I'm cooking. Blimey. Oh, see, he didn't seem to care at all about that. I, on the other hand, I got really nervous getting on him with the helmet on. I think it's the lack of visibility. Like, obviously, I know that you can't see much of anything when you've got that helmet on because I, you know, I fight in it. I, I know the visibility is crap, but having it on in a situation, i.e. on my horse, where I'm used to having good visibility and I'm used to be able to see all my peripherals and see the horse and everything like that like that was actually quite unnerving to have such limited vision on him um but he was amazing oh he's getting really upset with the flies bless him he was amazing like i couldn't have asked for that to go better to be perfectly honest i know they're upsetting you we'll go in in a minute we'll go in in a minute um yeah i'm gonna leave it there for tonight because that was awesome he was so good uh yeah so i guess we will build from that um i think the big thing is going to be getting him used to the legs uh like i said i don't think i'm ever going to be able to get on him with the brig i currently have it's just too long it's not going to happen um but i might be able to get away with using some of the legs on him we shall see uh but that was awesome he's such a good boy i know you want to go in honey anyway he is well and truly fed up he's getting eaten alive by midges he has been an absolute superstar so I'm not going to keep him out here getting all upset and irritable. I'm going to take him in, give him a huge handful of sweeties and a cuddle, um, and pop him to bed with his tea. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me for this one today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I filmed, enjoyed filming it and doing it. Uh, this was kind of an adrenaline rush, actually. Um, I honestly wasn't sure how he'd respond, but... You're such a good boy! Look at that face! Yeah, you're angry because of the flies, I know, right? time for bed thank you so much for joining us for this one today guys and i'll see you in our next video well done